Hello, this is channel lowrace.com and today I will show you how to make these uh, confetti explosions in Adobe After Effects and won't be using any plugins and also you can in the description you can find the link to the actual project file on my website so if you want to download project file just search for link in video description and okay let's be let's begin close this one and new I always make my composition in 4k because 1080p is old right now and 4k will be more and more more available okay One, two, three. okay create new solid confetti search for cc particle world drag and drop on your layer okay now first let's change our particle go to particle tab and select tri polygon tri polygon tri polygon don't know how to say it and let's change the size to 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 okay i think also go to opacity map and draw like this so opacity won't change us okay Now go to birth rate and also make uh, frame zero and click stopwatch on the birth rate and select enter zero. Go to frame 15, enter birth rate 100, and again go to frame 30 and enter birth rate zero. So we have an explosion of particles. So maybe we can make this faster like this. So it looks more like explosion. That's it. Okay. Longevity, let's make five seconds. Now go to producer tab and select position, drag this using position Y to the bottom. So the emitter is not seen and decrease the Z radius to zero. So it doesn't have depth, only 2D. We don't need depth in this case. Okay, let's go to physics and let's increase velocity to 40, for example. And also gravity to, let's make gravity 5. Okay, four will be good, I think. Can increase the timing. Also, resistance, let's make 10. Okay, 20, more resistance. More resistance means less scattered particles. 
Okay, something like this. Maybe 40. Gravity. Let's make 6. No. Maybe 10. Too fast. Let's make 6. Okay, that's looking quite realistic. Also, as these are confetti and these small particles should in real world be a paper, so they should wiggle to the sides, but we don't have any options for wiggling on particle world. If it would be a trap code particular, the effect would be much more realistic, but also you can try using turbulent displays. So let's try turbulent displays. Not quite as good as it would be with particle world, but okay, I think. Size, let's make two, 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 two. okay. Now let's duplicate our confetti layer. Control D to duplicate and go to physics extra. Let's make five. <laughs> Doesn't change. Okay, extra, extra angle. I wonder why it doesn't change. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's change velocity. So it's more random. You hit U and select the frame where our particle is emitting. Let's decrease to 70. Also, let's make this twirl and let's change our particle to. Okay, let's make custom color map and let's make this blue. And all colors blue. Also, on this duplicate layer, let's, let's change our displ turbulent display displays settings a little bit okay animation ends at three seconds so let's see how it looks Maybe too fast. Let's change. Go to physics and change gravity to five, and on this one to to five.
maybe even slower let's change four and this one to 3.5 okay what else can we do? Rotation speed. Let's increase rotation. And let's change a polygon from tri-polygon tri to quad-polygon. You just have to play with these settings and first create, create one layer with particles and duplicate and with every uh, new duplicate you change the settings so you have more random looking confetti effect okay that's it for this quick video thank you for watching you will find you will find links to project files in video description and okay thanks for watching and goodbye